What is going on guys? We're here with more Walka. We got Psychic Mudo was Black Oblivion and turn one he let off with a Scarf Greninja just u turn on the this is probably Scarf Latios, I've seen this team used. I think this is a Rokaro team, it's a Sky Struck Land with Subtoxic Heatro and Rock Skull Fable Spikes, Ferrothorn, Ash Greninja with extra sensory if I recall correctly, Scarf Latios. So you don't have to a Scarf Grand, so he doesn't have to fear Scarf Lari. This is Psychic Mito playing for US West, Black Oblivion playing for Team Europe. The score is 2 and 1 for Team. I think for Team Europe at the moment. So it's Sub sub SD probably? or It's either Sub SD or Sub Smackdown with Off Plate. Because he could be the Z move Kyurem. So we know he's uh, Mega Scissor, Scarf Grin. He has to be Defog Scissor on his team. Uh, Defog Mew is an option. Defog Mew is an option. Um, it could be SD Scissor or Defog Mew. But I'm thinking this is probably not Rock Slender though, because it's like sub. Unless he wants to get up Rocks and put, he predicted the Black Oblivion to bring Stall and he wants to get up Rocks versus Stall, then this could be Rock Slender. Like, I'm still not sure about this. Which one's the default? Because he could be SD Scissor with um, Default Mew and Rocks on this. Or it could be Rocks Mew with Default Scissor. Yeah, Black Oblivion is gonna go for Power Whip here, I assume, to break the sub or Gyro Ball. Uh, Power Whip breaks the sub. And Psychic so Mewtwo might just go for Sky Struck if he has it, but. Do we know? Do we have any information about this? I think he's Emo of Cure, and this is Off Plate, if I'm being honest. It makes more sense to me. I mean, it could be Life of Curum, but I'm thinking this is off plate Lando and Zemo of Curum, but we shall see what happens here. Um, like, if he Zemo, he gets a kill you with Sky Strike, kind of. Because even Heatron takes, like, Heatron takes so much. Black Oblivion is not going Heatron. Uh, Heatron is really annoying for Psychic Mewtwo to deal with. Like, it doesn't have good switches to Heatron. I think this is the sub Toxic Memory Stone set with uh, Toxic and Earth Power, which can annoy Toxic Packs. Like, if it gets Spadef. Drops on packs, it beats it one on one. If it runs a lot of special tech, it might even beat packs. Or if the packs is more fist it might even beat the packs without speed up drops. We shall see. But if he's sky struck, he gets a kill here. If he's not sky struck, he might go for his. Yeah, okay, just plays it safe. So I assume his last move is Smackdown. Because sky struck was pretty free there. If he had sky struck, I think he would have clicked it. But yeah, well, we know Black Oblivion is um, sky struck with his Landris. Because I've used this team, and he gets the potential speed tie. Um, maybe it's like I think they were both jolly. Because Psychic like Mewtwo play. <laughs> oh my lord! That's just put Black Oblivion in such a good position. <laughs> I mean, it was a potential speed tie because like Black Oblivion stayed in. I think he was like confident that he was faster. I don't know. Like it's not like he had good Sky Strike switches. All his hard work for nothing, setting up an SD and a sub, and then just got blown away by Power Whip into Sky Strike and. Black Oblivion also got up a spike, which is nice, and he's just in a super solid position. Gets rid of the Landris early on. Yeah, Greninja... Greninja is really threatening to Psychic Mewtwo, especially if it uh, flinches the Toxapex. Um, I think the Toxapex has, has to be a bit more spidef, actually, mm -hmm, if I think about it. Because it's like his best Ash Grin switch in. But even then, if it's spidef... One or two flinches and you're gone. Like if if he gets up hazards, like if he gets up rocks on top of the spikes, maybe he only needs one flinch to beat the packs with the gren. But he doesn't have good Kyurem switchins at all. Ferrothorn can potentially switch in, but we never found out if Psychic Mewtwo was uh, off plate. I still think there's a sub zero slammer, but we shall see now. He had his life up, okay. So he was the move Landris. Um I'm not sure why he didn't click Sky Strike. So Psychic Mewtwo was probably Jolly Landris and he was going off Black Oblivion not being Jolly and he thought he could he could just play it safe and Earthquake earlier on and then he could have Sky Strike the land on the next turn but it didn't work out at all. Um, I think if I had Sky Strike I would have gone, which he probably has, I would have gone for that if I was Psychic Mewtwo early on in the game. So he does have Hidden Power Fire, wow, really nice play by Black Oblivion scouting for it. I think Black Oblivion doubled out into Heat and predicting the the Heatron covers the scout. Oh, it's not HP fire. What am I saying? What the fuck am I saying? It's not HP fire. What the fuck of what? What type of hidden power is this? I just said hidden power fire. My bad, guys. But what is this? What? Now it's definitely not flame body Heatron. I don't think that's out yet. <laughs> but I think he doubled into Heatron scouting for HP fire. 
slash predicted the double into scissor. That's just what I'm thinking. Or the double into Mew, like just these two defogers get pressured by Tran. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if he predicted scouted, I don't know if he scouted for HP fire. But yeah, he goes in the clef, um, scouting for off power. I really don't know what hidden power it is because it wasn't super effective. It does a lot of damage so we know that Heatran is offensive. But that, that's what I already was thinking earlier. That was, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was fire when the Heatran came in on it. That was weird. I have no idea what hidden power it is. Like, maybe he messed up his hidden power? I'm not sure. Hopefully we will find out later on in the game. Uh, he probably doesn't have flamethrower on his Clefable. Because otherwise he could have stayed in and um, do a lot of damage to the scissor with a flamethrower from the clef. This might be hidden power fire Ladios. Like, if he really predicted the scissor and this is in power fire, that was a gold play with Black Oblivion. But it's not the case. So scissor is gonna go for defog or huge on here. Makes me think, this makes me think that he could be... Now I still think he's defog scissor because he was... We shall see. <laughs> so this cure, I have no idea what this hidden power is. Like, it's really interesting. So it's Ice Beam, Fusion, Bolt and Off Power I think, or it could also be Roost. And then some hidden power that I have no idea what hidden power it is. He's just gonna click Ice Beam here I would assume. Unless he predicts Black Oblivion to go hard into Greninja he could Fusion Bolt. Uh, but... The Feral Song will be like weakened. Like Black Oblivion might, yeah Black Oblivion might try to go hard Grin here. But it's, it's a bit risky. Also because Greninja puts in a good amount of work, I wouldn't go hard Grin, it's... I feel like Greninja is too valuable in this matchup to go hard into it. Potentially lose it. I mean, I knew they were switching, so did he roost? Well, he, he really went hard into Grin. Yeah, roosting that was a um, good play because he was never staying in with the Landris. And now this also gets it out of range from any attack from the Grin. So he can just click Fusion Bolt here. The only play that Black Ob the only switch in Black Oblivion has to Fusion Bolt is Ferrothorn or Ladi. Would you would you Ice Beam here if you're if you're Psychic Mewtwo? That's risky. Yeah, he might actually Ice Beam here because Black Oblivion, like I just said, this Greninja is just pretty valuable. I think Black Oblivion went hard into this break in Ice Beam, but I'm pretty sure he's just gonna pivot back into. Yeah, did he Ice Beam? I, I pray he Ice Beamed. Really nice play by Psychic Mewtwo. But it only did 50, so after lefties they won't be able to kill. Unless he's no special attack investment and he's like more physical based. And Fusion Bolt is like a roll to kill or he has Iron Head. I don't think he can kill the Clef. I'm pretty sure he can't kill the Clef actually. So Clef is gonna go for Soft Bolt here. I mean it was a nice play, um, Fusion Ice Ice Beaming predicting the switch. I really I agree with that play. We, he was pivoting into um, something on the Fusion Bolt, either into Feral. Ladi or Clef. I was actually thinking that he would go Ladi or Feral. Oh my god, a really nice double there by right? oh, Black Oblivion and the Heat Chun. What did he predict? Stop playing fast. I wanted to try and understand the plays. Uh, Q and come back, go Scissor. So he was, Psychic Mewtwo probably um, trying to defog with his Scissor, brought it in on the Clef, and Black Oblivion pulled a really nice double on him. And it was potentially also scouting for Iron Head, but I'm pretty sure this doesn't have Iron Head. So yeah, now Black Oblivion can click off power. And if he gets rid of the Toxapex, Greninja becomes a lot more threatening. Like the Dark Pulse switching doesn't exist for Psychic Mewtwo. The Dark Pulse switching is his own Greninja if his pack is dies. But yeah, Brovis is gonna be playing soon versus um Versus Trosco, which is um, the other semi-finals for the World Cup between Youth East and Spain. And there's also the score to win. Oh my lord, somebody stopped this man. I don't think it made a big difference. I think he could have just hard off powered. The only advantage that he gets from subbing is this Gren this Gren we know it's scarfed. And by subbing down, 
he gets to see what the Greninja locks itself into. The Greninja doesn't have a move to the Greninja doesn't have to move uh, doesn't have a move to break the Heatran sub. So it's probably U turn Ice Beam Gunk Shot maybe. It doesn't have low kick or uh, ice beam uh, or hydro pump. Otherwise he would have gone for it. I think. So this puts Black Oblivion in such a good position. If he gets a uh, spit death drop here, he could have. Or if he got a crit or like, he could have potentially come came out with a substitute. Um, I thought that uh, Psychic Mewtwo would have gone for recover there, but it was actually it was the correct play, just breaking the sub with the Scald, so that the Heatran is not behind the sub, and you can go with Curem and threaten this out with the potential off power. But yeah, really nice place by Black Oblivion. So he found out that the Greninja can probably not break the Heatran sub, because why would you not go for the move that breaks the sub otherwise if you Psychic Mewtwo? Um, yeah, so the last move from Greninja could be Spikes, and then like you turn Ice Beam Gunk Shot. Uh, ro rock Slide, actually it has to be Rock Slide. Because he's weak to Volcarona. So it's Rock Slide, U turn, and I assume Ice Beam and Spikes. Um, maybe another attacking move over Spikes, but it shouldn't be Low Kick or Pump, just the way it has been played. So he goes into Lana's predicting it off power, gets the play correct. Um, but I think he's just gonna pivot back. He's gonna pivot back on an Ice. Into what? He doesn't have. If he goes Greninja here on an Ice Beam, this is a wild play. Um. Unless he's confident that his Landers is faster and his Curum is not max speed. Is he willing to sack his Landers? I mean, Landers already used the Z-move and got a kill on the opposing Landers. It's it's not... Ne Landers is not necessary for Black Oblivion anymore. So he might be willing to sack his Landers. Because pivoting into Greninja on an Ice Beam is really risky here. His Clefable is also too low so he can't pivot into that. And like, if you go back into Heatran, you he didn't really gain much. Like, it's just the same scenario again. All if you go back to Heatran, all you all you have accomplished is like life up damage. And they say yeah, he just sacked this off. Uh, I was pretty sure he was willing to sack this off because he doesn't need it anymore. Like, it's still nice to have, but it's not necessary for him to win. And the Greninja is way more valuable, so he would never go hard into Greninja and risk it. And the extra life up hit might have brought this in range from the uh, Specs Dark Pulse. I'm kind of interested in that cult, to be honest. Uh, Kyurem. Uh, that's a screw ninja. So losing the... He lost his pack, so he has no Dark Pulse switch in. So if this actually... He might have to go into his own Gru ninja here, but the spike plus Dark Pulse is gonna bring it super, super low. Um, let me say 103 special attack, because he's not in his Ash form. Dark Pulse does 52 to 61 to cure him, so it doesn't kill. Wait, what? Why, why did he go to this if he can't kill the cure him? Does he just does he just want to weaken the Kyurem? I thought he would have gone to Latios. Did I call Specs? I did call Specs. Hmm? Am I am I missing something here? Maybe this is not Ash. Maybe he changed it to Low Kick Protein or something. I really thought this was Ash. Because if he if he doesn't have a move to kill this, why would he go out to this when he has a scarf Ladi that he could have could have gone out into? I mean Ladi, I can understand why you wouldn't go Ladi, because he has switch ins to Ladi in the back. But it is Ash, yeah. That was so weird to me. Maybe he was hoping that Psychic Mewtwo would um, predict the low kick protein. That's why he went in the scissor. I'm not really sure about this turn. Because Dark Pulse doesn't kill the Kyurem, and then the, you lose your Greninja to Fusion Bolt. Fusion Bolt should kill, right? Yeah, it kills even if it's not life up, but it's life up, so it will kill two Greninjas almost. Or maybe even two Greninjas. So yeah, now he gets a kill with Dark Bolt and he gets his Ash, unless like, Mewtwo is willing to let his Greninja take the hit. But I'm pretty sure he won't be willing to do that. Also, I'm gonna calc how much it would do. Uh, it would do 43 to 50 to the incoming Greninja. Yeah, he's just gonna sack his Scissor. Um, the only thing Scissor heals on is the Clefable. I don't think there's a point in keeping this when it's at like 1% after Spikes. So either Black Oblivion just wanted to weaken the cure and was willing to sack his Greninja, or he bluffed Psychic Mewtwo that, he's, that he has a move to kill the cure. I'm not 100% sure. Because I think Greninja is so valuable. If you don't have a move to kill Kyurem, why would you risk it? That was weird. So Psychic Mewtwo doesn't want to give him the Ash Form, which is understandable, but... <laughs> I mean, his Greninja only has one more switch into Spikes now. Uh, Black Oblivion can just go to Heatran here because he knows that this cannot touch his Heatran unless he bluffed- Oh my god, he bluffed him! He bluffed him! What a fucking god! Holy shit, this guy is next level.
Did you see that? He played it as if he played it as if he doesn't have a move to touch the Heatran. To be fair, Black Oblivion could have gone into Clefable there. I think that's max attack too, because otherwise I don't think it would have killed. To be fair, Black Oblivion could have gone into Clefable, because Clefable would have covered the low kick and the U-turn. But that was still really nice, really well done by Psyche Mewtwo. This is the reason why I watched World Cup. <laughs> but yeah, he's gonna um, softball it, or he might he might Moonblast here because he doesn't want the Scissor to come in on the softball and then the Scissor gets to heal. If, unless this has Flamethrower, then he doesn't care about the Scissor healing, but I don't think he has Flamethrower from the way this has been played. So Psyche Mewtwo predicted him to double or he just sacked his... Did he predict him to double? I don't understand. Uh, he was probably willing to sack his Greninja because Black Oblivion was not doubling there. He was either clicking Moonblast or Softball. And he clicked Moonblast because he... Yeah, yeah, I guess Psychic Mewtwo, yeah. Psychic Mewtwo was willing to sack this to get his Scissor healthy. So I think he's gonna go Scissor on Roost because otherwise that makes made no sense to me. Kyurem can't... I think Kyurem cannot kill it from here, yeah. So he goes into Mew. I thought he would go into Scissor and heal it. That's so weird. I'm kind of confused. <laughs> But that was still that was still fire with the low kick. I just don't know. Like I can understand Black Oblivion going to Heatran because he. I also thought that the Greninja didn't have a, a move to touch the Heatran. So that was well bluffed. But to be fair, he could have. Yeah, he didn't go to Clef on the potential gunk. Yeah, because he he knew that Greninja could have gunk shot. So he was, but he was never gunk shot in that specific turn. Yeah, that was just that was just well played by Psychic Mewtwo. I can't say we can't say anything negative about that. That was just next level bluff. So he gets rid of the choice specs, which is nice, um, but he still doesn't have switch in, so this gets off his ash form here. Unless this Mew is super spadef, but like I said earlier, the Pex is probably more spadef one, this Mew should be more fistive orientated on this team. And yeah, this is gonna get off the ash form now, like Mew lives a Dark Pulse obviously, but Mew doesn't do anything back to this. We know it's knockoff, so it's probably gonna be Willow Wisp softball, and then uh, it's either Defog or Rocks in the last slot. Mm. So Isa has to like sack his Mew to will with this, but he needs his... I think he needs his Mew. Yeah, Mew is like the most valuable member for, for Psychic Mewtwo, because it like... It can whisk the Pharaoh Zone, it can take a Draco from the Ladi. So I think he's gonna sack... Wait, never mind, never mind, because if he... Yeah, yeah, if he sacks a Scissor, I don't know if Kyurem can take a hit after Spikes. Because if Greninja gets into Ash form... Um, if Greninja gets into Ash form, which is 153 special attack, then let's take the choice specs away because he got knocked off. Then the Dark Pulse is gonna do a lot to the Curum. Uh, Curum. Dark Pulse does 46 to 54, which means the Curum. So he's gonna sack off the Mew. So he has Raw. Okay, I did not expect that. So it's not. What the fuck? Is that for setup sweepers? Does he have spikes on it? He doesn't have spikes on his team. That's so weird. But yeah, he's gonna softball slash wisp. And yeah, Kyurem after a spike is at 57. So Kyurem can live a Ash Greninja Dark Pulse. Because he knocked off the specs. So that's gonna be clutch for him. He's gonna eventually flinch. I was about to say he's gonna eventually flinch and he gets it. And yeah, now he gets this kill with Greninja that was about to happen. Back Oblivion, like, early game just had a huge advantage. Winning that potential speed there with his Landris. And even though Psychic Mewtwo made a great play with that low kick. Pretty sure Black Oblivion still wins this game. Like, it's it's high, heavily in his favor, like, at this point. If he gets off the Ash form... The only thing that can take a hit is the Curum, like I said. And the Curum will get brought on so low that, like... I mean, it obviously dies to Draco, but he doesn't even have to risk Draco. He can also just, um... Click the Psychic move with his Ladi, and the Scissor and the Curum are both so low... That it doesn't make a difference at this point. He gets a crit, but I think that didn't matter, um... Unless he get a, unless he get a super low roll. But I think the Mew actually had more Spadef than I... The Mew actually had a bit more speed so he gets another crit, which sucks, but the game was over at that point. Like, the crit could have mattered. Um, in the sense that the Kyurem could have lived and killed the Greninja with Fusion Bolt. But the crit was not was not game deciding. I think he would have... 
I think he would have lost to, uh, he would have died to life orb, and the game was over at that point to Scarf Ladius, or even to. Yeah, like Ladius just won. Scissor had 1%, and Ladi doesn't die to Bullet Punch. And yeah, congratulations. Uh, I don't know. They're not in the next round yet. I want to say congrats to Black Oblivion for his win. <laughs> I, I almost said congrats to Europe. Yeah, congrats to Europe for winning a game, but like, I think the score is 2 and 1 now for Team Europe. Uh, 3 and 1. 3 and 1 is what I meant to say. So Black Oblivion picked up the win. Europe is up 3 and 1 versus West. So they have good chances to make the next round, but there's still a lot of games coming up. And yeah, the next game is going to be Brofist versus Trosco. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Peace out. And yeah, nice nice game. And the hex at the end, I don't think it mattered at all. It just made the game um, go by a little bit faster. Peace out, friends. Whew.